Hi guys! It's Amy with aim to plan and today we are here to put all of this stuff together. So it is time to frank and plan everything together for February. Um, the happy planners um, have January and February together for the first week of February and so it's time to put all this together so I can be in those planners. I have decided for February that I wanted to try to put everything back together uh, in a Franken planning system that's more traditional in nature and so we're going to do a full walkthrough and just put everything together for that. But I did want to run through what I had for January, show you the planners for February, um, talk about some planners that won't be going into the Franken planner. So there's lots of things happening in this video. Um, first of all, with my current with my current planner, what I've got is um, like just like random sticky notes. Um, I'll do a full flip through of my Franken planner for January in a separate video. Um, but I've have my hor um, my home slash chores pages in here. It's just the one page that I needed for the last week of January. Um, and then I have my budget stuff in here. I've got my faith stuff in here. Again, I'll do a full flip through of all these planners um, when the month of January is over. I've got my personal planner um, and then I've got my reading journal. And then in the back here, I've also got some um, memory book. Well, not memory book, um, like home binder holiday planner pages. So the first one is my Q&A. Um, my question and answer journal for my daughter Sophia and then I have a family planner so there's lots of different pieces again I will do a flip through of those planners um, minus the Q&A I think well I might just do a flip through of it for January but um, those pages have kind of been like ones where I kept only the week like so, so just for example this page is my um, chores planner um, I did not do any of this last week I was sick so it's been a really rough like end of the uh, end of January um, but uh, I just keep just the week that was relevant um, in the front of this planner well that worked and I was just taking the pages out and moving it back into their planners um, and so that was a really good system for me but in February I will be doing a lot more travel and I might forget <laughs> to move pages so I was thinking that using something more traditional where all of the pages for the month are in the same book for a Franken planner would make sense for me um so because I'm traveling and just um moving a lot more um I'm, I'm commuting and doing all the things it, it just I just needed to get into a system so again I will do a flip through of January and all of the planners that I mentioned in uh, this book um I will do a flip through of that um at the end of January, actually the beginning of February. Um, basically, I'll I'll probably try to do it either over the weekend or next week. So, with all that being said, then I wanted to get it into a Franken planner. So what I've decided to do is use this cover. This is a cover from an old Work Plus Life planner from 2022 2023 um i initially wanted this cover because i just love how like it's like a matte like super smooth surface i loved it um and i wanted to use it for my home binders but i couldn't find enough of these um and so i just had the one um and i'd like everything to match so for my home binders i did eventually find enough black covers um, that had like the marbled pebbled look um and so i used those for my home binders so this has just been in my stash so I'm going to use this for the base um, and I'm going to like really quickly do this. Um, I pulled this one sticker and I'm just going to cover this up just to get rid of the date. Um, and I also brought along sophisticated florals here because I wanted to maybe just add a floral right on top just to, you know, I don't know, break it up, I think. But I don't know which one. Let me see. I want it maybe something like this. Right, this is just a quick fix to get rid of the date more than anything. Um, so, so that's what I was thinking. I'm gonna, I'll just do it like that. Okay, it's not perfect, but I just wanted to get rid of the date. So I'll set this to the side. I have my discs over here too. We'll do that um, kind of, kind of in a little bit. Uh, in a little bit, I'll do that. Um, so let's talk about planners. So I will Franken plan into that setup, my personal planner. In here, I have some. Uh, daily pages that are this and I'll talk more about what I do set up in there in a minute um, and I also have weekly pages that are this um, hourly layout so that will go in there I also have my reading journal which is a dashboard okay I have my faith which I'm using an outdated 
Faith Warrior layout. This is one of the weekly pages. This is the other weekly pages. It has a week on two pages um, or on four pages. So that's going in there. I also have, oh, I gotta move stuff around. My desk is running out of room. Um, I also have this, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, but it's a budget planner I got off Amazon. So I'm gonna move the budget pages in there. Um, and I think for the month of February, I might move back in the expense tracker pages. I haven't decided yet on that one. Um, and the last one here, at least, is my chores planner. And what I'm using here, um, there's like home binder extension, like the home extension pack in here. Uh, but what I'm using for the actual chores pages is a simply layout that I got from Walmart. And so it's a kind of like the dashboard, but it's just the the right hand side of the dashboard, and it's on two pages. So you can see it like that. Okay, so it's two weeks on two pages. Okay, so that is the stack that I'll be frank planning. So you'll see that a little bit more. I have a couple of honorable mentions just to kind of get through. These are the ones that I don't plan to frank and plan in there. I just like to keep these separate. Uh, so the first one is um, my daughter Sophia's memory book. So it's an outdated classic vertical that I have been memory keeping in. Um, so that will not be frank and planned in there. I just uh, have decided to pick a day, which is Thursday, uh, just to sit down, print the photos and do the memory planning for that. Um, and that's the only time I pull these planners out. So I just don't need it in my Franken planner just because I don't use it every day. Um, and then my other daughter, Rose, also has her memory book and it's also a classic vertical outdated. Um, and again, same thing for Sophia and for Rose. I just pick one day a week to sit down and just update these memory books. So I don't need it in my Franken planner. So those two are just going to sit on the shelf until the day that I decide to do the memory planning, which is usually Thursday. Okay, I'm gonna, I have this right here, but I actually will talk about that last. The other one that I'm not gonna frank and plan in there is this book, which is my Go Wild notebook slash planner slash journal that I put together um, last week or the week before. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this separate. I don't anticipate in February that I'll be doing a ton in here. I might put together some pages just when I feel like it, but again, I don't need it in my Franken planner because I won't be referencing it every single day. So I'm just gonna leave this separate. I think probably closer to April, probably March, um, but definitely April, I will need to Franken plan this um, or just make a decision on whether I'm gonna carry the entire thing or not. So that will be a decision a little bit further down the line. Um, but what I've got in here are basically like dot grid papers um, and also a color block planner, if I can find pages, uh, that look like this. And I'm just using it to um, kind of put together all the plans for Go Wild. So again, I won't be Franken planning this into my February Franken planner just because I don't anticipate needing it every day. Okay, and then the last one is this. This is one of my, I guess, like holiday planners. I have four, um, so I have one for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then this one covers all the other holidays. And in here, I do have holiday-related stuff. Um, so um, let me see if I could show an example. We'll go right here into March. In March, I have like, for example, a spring bucket list, right? So it's not holiday, but it's like seasonal. Uh, it's like a seasonal planner that covers all of the seasons and holidays outside of uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Um, and so that that is here. Now, in addition to like kind of the seasonal pages, I also have the question and answer journal in here. And so if I have room in my Franken planner, I will move this into the Franken planner just because um, this is something that I do try to use every day. So it would be nice to have in my Franken planner. So I am going to leave this to the side just in case I have the room for it um, and, and see where that goes. Um, so that will just be on this side until I make a decision. Um, and the reason for that is because this work plus life planner um, can only use classic size discs. Uh, so when I Franken plan, um, and especially with so many planners going into one, normally I use expander discs, but because this work plus life um, cover um, is built the way it is, it doesn't take expander discs. So I have to be aware of like, how much room I have here. So it can only use classic size discs. That's pretty much it. Um, and I don't even think, I've never actually tried it. I feel like mini discs would work, but they would be very loose and kind of like floppy. So I just don't know that that would work best. I mean, they are designed for classic size discs. I realized in the process of editing the video that I forgot to mention two very important planners um, that I use every single day, but they are not franken planned into my classic size system. So these two planners are of course very important to me. The first one um, is my work planner. And then this one is my social media planner. Um, so let's talk about both of these. Again, these do not get franken planned into my classic 
size because they're big um, and also because they just sit on my desk all the time. I actually, in fact, leave both of these open on my desk and, you know, just use them every single day. So the first one here is, like I said, my work planner. Um, it is a big that um, is a dashboard. It is also a current planner. Um, it's an 18 month that I'm just using the 2024 portion for. Um, I have in January at least not used the monthly for anything. So uh, that has been empty, but basically it's a dashboard uh, that's big and I track all of my work appointments and events. Um, I don't do to do's actually on here, but so I just track events here. I've been using this to track my work hours. And then on this side, I do, of course, use this for tasks. I do usually, like, right around here, run out of tasks. So it's been perfect, the, the amount of space that I have here for tasks, for work. Um, and then these boxes, generally speaking, I use to take meeting notes. Um, it'll be either notes or tasks that I have related to the events that I have over here. So I have tons of meetings. Um, and so it'll be where I just say, okay, like, if I have a meeting related to a specific topic, I kind of use it like a mini project section and take notes and to-do lists. Those to-do lists, usually if um, if I have the room, I'll transfer into the task list, but I also just kind of like put um, like highlight or like draw a dot uh, to let me know that there's a task in here. And so I use these three spaces for those kind of project uh, notes and uh, meeting notes and tasks. So that's what I use for my work planner. That's actually been working out really well. I've enjoyed using it as a work planner. And then this, uh, it says teach from the heart. It looks like a teacher planner. It is a teacher planner. Um, but what I have in here is basically um, all of these like kind of really random. Like I'll show you. I don't know where the pages are. Like, okay, they're back here. I need to move the dividers around. Uh, but they're like really random old mismatched like just a mix of all of these um teacher layout pages that i have and i've just been using it as my social media planner so what i do is just kind of ignore the side sometimes i cover it up sometimes i don't but then i just redate across the top here um i use one row um for youtube one for instagram and then the rest uh, can either be for additional instagram ideas or like just to-do lists and, and tasks and things like that that i have related to you know to social media. So that's kind of what I use for social media. Again, these two planners, I do not um, Franken plan. I leave them open, like they sit open, like and folded back. Like I'll just kind of for social media, it'll be like I use each column. So I just kind of like have it flipped to the correct day. And then for my work planner, I will have it basically set up to like because today's like the 29th. I'll just have it flipped like this to the 29th. Um, and if I need to use it, I'll just bring it out and put it like in an, a bigger like writing area for my desk and just flip it over and write on that side and then turn it back over to um, check for my meeting minutes. So it will either be on this side if I need to like be doing things or it will be on this side so I can check my calendar. So that, that's pretty much how I have, have it set up on my desk like this. Um, and I use it like that. I have a little shelf that I tuck these into so it's not in my way. Um, it's, it's not like where I'm having to like kind of work around it. It's like underneath everything else. Um, it's not, a, I guess it's not like a keyboard shelf, but it's kind of like a keyboard shelf that I keep it on. Um, and that's been working out well for me. So um, I realized that I didn't talk about these two. So this is just kind of like an inserted uh, little footage for these two planners because they are also very important for my February lineup. So with that, then I have my classic size discs that I'm going to use. Um, these are just like metal, like rose gold champagne. I'm not sure what color, but they, they look rose gold to me. And I thought this would be a nice color to put in here. Um, and these work plus life covers, um, you can now purchase these like separately, just uh, the cover by itself without the pages. Um, and I find it, I think quite easy to put it in. You just kind of snap it in there. You do have to use a little bit of pressure. I find it harder to take them out than to put them in. Um, but I'm just going to snap them in here like this. All right. And then to take it out, um, I actually kind of like use my finger on this side and just kind of like press it like and, and bend it downwards and kind of like kind of wiggle it out, I guess is the best way of describing it. Um, so I wanted to kind of show you both of that so that way you can see that. Um, and then what we're going to do is start getting these pages in. So I need to decide my order. 
Um, okay, so there's chores, there's budget. I think I might just keep the same order that I used in my January Franken Planner, um, just because that's what makes sense. I don't have dividers and top tab dividers or side dividers or anything like that. So um, I think I might just use the dividers that are in here um, that are included with the planners themselves. Um, except for like, for example, I'm missing February. Where is February? Oh, it's down here. You just can barely see it. Okay, so I'm going to use the dividers that come with the planners, at least for now. Um, I think I want to try to get some dividers um, and I'll show you how I can use dividers or at least the way I, the method I, I use. But for right now, I'm going to use the dividers that came with it. Some of these planners don't have dividers too, so I will have to kind of figure that out. Okay, so this again is a simply layout. Now for my chores planner, I basically put here any chores for the house. And then for these boxes, I am working through a decluttering challenge. Uh, is it like a daily 15 minute decluttering challenge? Um, and I just kind of journal about what the decluttering like challenge for that day was and what additional things I did to declutter. Um, again, I didn't do a great job the end of January just because I was sick, but I'm going to get back into it in February. So that's what I do for this chores planner. Um, so then here, um, the next set of pages was my budget journal um, or my budget planner. Um, and for my budget planning, I'm using again, like this, uh, I don't know what to call, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like S-O-L-I-G-T, so leap. I, I have no idea. Um, but I'm going to pull this. I did put in a set of happy planner dividers just to divide the pages. And I mentioned that I might put in the expense tracker pages that I ended up taking out, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I haven't decided. So that's going to be a decision I will make in the next couple of days uh, to add that or not to add that. But if I don't add into this expense tracker pages, then I have been using like a small kind of like micro size planner um, in my wallet to track my expenses. And that's been going well, actually. So I don't know if I want to switch um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I do or not, um, but I do fill out the monthly budget. Then here I've been kind of tracking bills. I didn't do a great job in January. You'll see that in the flip through. And then it's just a monthly budget review, just kind of like journaling about how my budget went. Um, and then this pocket is actually for March, um, but I don't want to add another uh, another like sheet in here. So I'll just use this to keep any February bills. And then when I unfranken plan it or move it back into the budget planner, I'll take these bills that were um, in this pocket and move it into the correct February folder. Okay, so those two I put first. Chores, I feel like because that's home and then budget, it's still home related, but more like computer, paper oriented, not so much like my entire house, but like a small portion of my house. Um, and then right after that, I basically put all of my planners. Um, so the first one that I'm going to put um, that's my planner is going to be my personal planner. Um, and what I will do, this will be a little bit of a change because in January, I was putting my weekly pages um, at the very end just because it had its own tab. But because I'm considering like adding my own dividers in here and my own tabs, I'm going to go ahead and put this with the actual correct like personal section, um, like the weekly and dailies together. I definitely will need tabs. I feel like otherwise I'll just get very lost in all the different components of this uh, Franken planner. Um, but... This is what I use. I actually don't use the monthly or this, this, these pages right here. I need room. I feel like you can't see any of this. Okay. So I don't use these pages um, for anything, um, but I do use the weekly pages. And what I use them for is basically to time track. Um, and I like to kind of color code by different categories, what I have been doing um, and just kind of make a, uh, like, I guess like an over or have like a visual of how my day looks or how my week looks and I want to be able to split my time well between work uh, personal things that I'm doing like um, just an example is reading or you know, just be on social media all the things that I would do for myself self-care related stuff um, and then the third area would be family time or social time so I want to again like split between work personal and social time and just being able to see it all uh, visually in different colors just helps me see that uh whether I'm in balance or out of balance with that. So I only basically use these weekly pages and highlight uh, the different colors. And then right after this section, I'm going to put my daily pages. Now for daily pages, I have a bunch of daily pages in my um, Franken planner for January. Um, but I also have in here, you'll see here the 31st. So I'll leave um, 
yeah, I'll, I'll have to leave that for right now. I'm going to pull these pages out. Um, I also probably need some additional pages. I don't have enough here for the entire month. But I use um, daily pages. Um, these are a daily on two page. Let me show you what it looks like. Um, now, these are tool um, pages. They were actually letter size. So it actually went um, a little bit above here. There was like a strip here and it had like the date, uh, like a monthly calendar. I think maybe even two monthly calendars. And then the, it had a section up here that was like the date. Um, and then it had um, a column in the middle that was basically where it wasn't like all the way to the very end of the line it had like kind of like you know a border a margin um and so i trimmed off that and the top here um and i turned it into an undated planner as you can see here just by trimming off those different sections um and and that's pretty much it now in january i was stamping and i'll probably do the same thing i'll go in and basically stamp enough uh daily pages for the entire month of february um and again i think i think i'll have to go pull from my stash some additional pages Okay, I went ahead and grabbed it. I think now I've grabbed too much, but that's okay. I'll just put in, I'll put in like this, this many, All right? And once I stamp, I'll know exactly how many I have and how much more I'll need. Um, I, but I think this is, this is probably way more than the 29 that I need. Um, and I'll put the rest in here. Any additional pages, of course, I'll pull out and put back into this, um, my personal planner. Um, but that should be good and I'll go in like I said and stamp um, and remove any pages that don't belong for February and put it back into my personal planner um, so that is that now for my daily planner I do try to basically have an imaginary line down here so right here this column is always like events um, so if, if there are any events I like to kind of like use big letters hand letter um, and just kind of denote that there is an event going on and then anything that's not like an event like appointment or whatever, I will kind of journal around it. Um, and then I have three other columns. One of those columns is to-do list. So it could, norm normally I put it here, sometimes I put it here, sometimes I put it here. It just really depends on like decoration. Um, but I always have a column for to-do list and I always have a column that is a food log. Um, and then I have a fourth column that's pretty much nothing, it's like decoration. Um, and so I don't hold myself to like, it has to be in this column, it has to be in this column, it has to be in that column. If I decorate um, and take up like a huge spot and I can't write an event there then I just write the event somewhere else it's totally fine for me to do that um, but any blank spots I do fill up with stickers or I like will just journal um, and have that be there but my favorite thing about this is of course the hourly portion of it so I do try to keep my food log and my events with the hours it goes from 6.30 until basically it says 10.30 so that's like to 11 um, so 6.30 to 11 is perfect for me um, and that pretty much covers my entire waking hours um, normally I get up at like seven so that yeah, I think it's perfect for me um, and so that's how I use these pages All right right after that um, is faith but see now I'm thinking I should move faith earlier um, because faith is um, at least in January um, normally I have faith be my own personal thing but in January I noticed that I was kind of combining my stuff with my daughter's stuff and so I was including their notes from Sunday school and that kind of thing um, and so I'm going to go ahead and make the decision to move it right here between um, between the budget and my personal stuff just because I think that would make more sense like it flows from like my giant home to a portion of my home with my budget to an even smaller portion of my home with just like our bible study together or uh, at church um and then it goes into my personal stuff related to you know like just the things that i myself do um so hopefully that makes sense honestly if, if it, it doesn't work then i could just change it again <laughs> but uh, what i use again for my faith planner is this Faith Warrior planner that's from 2019. It is, oh, there's stuff written in here. Um, I purchased this off of um, a buy sell trade group, so there's some notes in there. Um, so I'll have to remember that when I go back in, in here. But what I do is basically journal about the different Bible studies um, or like reading plans that I'm working through. So I just kind of take notes about that on these two pages. Um, and the what I'm using. For that um, is this Christian book free printable that I got where it's like a daily scripture writing challenge and I just um, write these out in, in one of the columns or like one of the boxes and then any notes that I have for my reading plans I just take everywhere else and on this page all right again sorry like there's um, 
writing from other people. But um, for these pages, I do usually use it for Sunday. So I'll take notes in Sunday school and um, in our general worship service. And then this section is where I kind of keep track of prayers. Um, so prayers related to God, prayers related to others, and then prayers for myself. Um, this section is blessings and this one is gratitude. So I kind of use that as is. Um, and it does have a habit tracker, which I've been inconsistent when using it. You'll see this in my January flip through where I am have not been keeping up with this well. I'm still keeping up with it, but just not well. Um, and so I need to maybe reevaluate it and see what I need to do with that. But I'm going to just take the entire thing here and move it in here. I also add a bunch of uh, other pages for my faith planner. So I have lots of like coloring printables and things like that um, that I can add in here and just kind of use as well for um, for journaling and just coloring and just being meditative with the process. So that is also in there, right? And then the last thing that I have, at least for right now, is my reading journal, right? And so my reading journal is this Bridgerton planner, which... Um, looks like this um and i don't use the monthly for anything um i've just basically been using this to keep track of what i read and like a little bit about like important plot points um that i need, want to keep track of um like you know i like to read fantasy novels and so fantasy novels like if characters were traveling back and forth I sometimes just kind of like make note of where they are I have actually been reading really late at night so I haven't actually been journaling a ton um but I do want to go back in and like at least at some point do a summary of what happened with each book because um if I go back and read it or if I continue the series I want to kind of know what the big plot points are so that's what I've been using this section for this I haven't really been using for anything um and this side I've been using to keep track of characters and places and imp important places so I don't worry so much about these labels I just kind of like make a list here and then make a list here um so that's what I've been doing for this um it's me just kind of adapting this planner uh, to be a reading planner for me um, instead of trying to DIY it just because I have so many other things that I'm trying to DIY. So yeah, that's just kind of where I am. All right, so I'll put that in here. And in fact, all of these did have dividers. So I don't know now that I need dividers. So I, I do want to change this one though. Um, that one's kind of a weird one. Um, so the last one, because I do have plenty of room now um, with like on the discs. I'm going to go ahead and add in the question and answer journal. Oh, and I need my family planner. Okay, yes. So I'll go ahead and add in my Q&A journal. So for this Q&A journal, it is a daily question that I just ask Sophia every day. So for February, February 1, what is your favorite place? And I started this when she was three. Uh, she's now seven. So we're in week, year, week, <laughs> year seven. Um, not year seven. Oh my gosh, year five of doing it. Her her seventh year when she's seven. And I just kind of track it. So it's been kind of fun to read her answers. I don't do it every single day. You see, I, can, I definitely miss days. Um, but I love doing it. It's just fun. Uh, we do it around dinner time. Um, if I forget, then I will do it. We'll do it like um, at bedtime. So it's just like I said, it's just fun to be able to do that. So again, I'll put this kind of with the faith stuff because that's where it makes sense to me. Actually, though, I'll put it after the budget, uh, before the faith. I don't know. I, I'm just kind of putting it in here. It doesn't really, um, to me, in my mind, it just makes more sense like that. Okay, and then the last one um, is my family planner. And I'll put it around the same section or the same area as um, the question and answer journal. Because what I do here with my family journal um, is basically use a classic vertical, let me show you, um, that is outdated. Um, and what I do is just kind of make note of, I mentioned like spending time and like having social time. Um, I do have a ton of social time, obviously with my immediate family, my husband and my two daughters, but I also like to keep track of any social time or any, um, like notes related to different text messages or different people that I'm reaching out. That's not my immediate family. So not, our little nu nuclear family of four, but like maybe my mom, my dad, my siblings, my cousins, whoever. Um, and so I just kind of use it to make note of like different things that are coming up. I also use this for my friends too. So coworkers, uh, just friends in the community. Um, I will make note of anything that I see, for example, on Facebook um, that I just want to remember. Um, so it's just my family and friends kind of planner and I track um, the different things that I intentionally engage with. Um, so that is that. So 
like just an example i mentioned like facebook i will scroll through facebook and generally not leave comments but if i leave a comment then i want to like note it like oh hey i left a comment and i want to just be thinking about that person um, that's kind of what this planner is for um and then of course my family has a lot of events and things that they're doing and i just want to be aware of those things and just kind of have it going um and so yeah that actually works out the only weird divider is this like work plus life divider but i'm gonna be okay with it i think i think i'll just leave it as it is um but now that i'm doing it because that one's a weird divider i think i'm gonna move the reading planner before that weird divider and that will just make more sense to me all right and we'll just leave it like that okay so let's do the full walkthrough then because i've got all the pages in here i think at least the only thing that i didn't put in here again are my um go wild notebook and my memory books for the girls um so Let's flip through it. So it's set up again on this work plus life planner and I put it on rose gold metal discs and I've got it where the things that are not just for me are in the front. So the first one is going to be my chores planner, uh, which I use this simply layout for. So that's the first section. I've got the entire month in here. The second one is my budget planner, um, which is budgeting for my house. So all the bills and things like that for my house. And I put that in here again. It's a planner um, that I purchased from Amazon. Right after that is my question and answer journal for Sophia. And I use a teacher layout. I don't think I mentioned that, but it's a teacher layout that I just kind of repurposed for my uh, use here. Um, and then right after that is my family planner, which I use a classic vertical outdated for just keeping track of my notes related to my family. Right after that is my faith warrior, which is mostly me. Um, sorry, again, I'll have to blur that out. Um, but it's mostly me, um, but some for my two daughters. Um, I just kind of put their Sunday school notes in here as well. So I'm using the Faith Warrior layout for that. So that one is this, right? The very next one is definitely all me. This is my reading planner, which I'm using this Bridgerton dashboard layout for. And then finally, I have my like actual like functional like planning planners. Um, and so the first one is going to be my uh, weekly layout where I'm like time tracking and like just logging where I spend my time. And then the second part of it is my daily planner where I track actual events and to-do lists and my food log. Um, and so that is what I have for my Franken planner. And right now it's actually fairly slim. So that's really good. And now I can go in now that it's set up for the entire month of February. I could put all the um, stickers and everything in there. So yeah, that's how I have set up for my Franken planner. Again, I don't put every single planner in here, but these are just the planners that I use the most. And that just is the way that makes sense to me. Um, but if you have any questions about how I Franken plan, feel free to leave me a comment uh, below and ask those questions. I'll be perfectly happy to answer any questions about my Franken planning method at least. Um, and so if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye guys.